Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the worst foods for collagen. As we get wiser, we start to make less collagen in our skin, and this is part of what contributes to the formation of wrinkles, fine lines, and saggy skin. There are numerous lifestyle factors and exposures that accelerate the rate of collagen loss in the skin. Ultraviolet radiation from the sun, of course, destroys collagen. Exposure to pollutants generates a lot of free radicals in the skin that compromise collagen quality. And then, of course, your diet can have a major impact on the quality of collagen in your skin. When we're considering the role that diet has in compromising collagen quality, we have to speak about glycation. Glycation is a process in which sugar molecules bind to proteins, lipids, nucleic acids in your skin and generate something called advanced glycation end products or glycotoxins. Whenever I talk about skin aging, people always jump on the, well, it's more than looking beautiful. But remember, your skin is an organ system. So the processes that I'm talking about, they are basically affecting other organs as well. And the process of glycation affects a lot more than just the quality of the collagen in your skin. It can impact disease processes like atherosclerosis, kidney disease, and it is what is responsible for most of the complications that diabetics experience. Things like vision loss, neuropathy. So I want to emphasize that up front. This is not about just the cosmetics. It's about preserving the function of your skin. Advanced glycation end products impact collagen in our skin. They lead to cross-linking of the collagen, making your skin very stiff and vulnerable to mechanical trauma. Cross-linked collagen is not repaired as well. There are two ways our diet impacts uh, glycation of collagen. First of all, increases in blood sugar, and you can actually be ingesting advanced glycation end products that do in fact localize to the skin and further contribute to this cross-linking of collagen and skin aging. Before I get into the list of foods that are more problematic for the health of the collagen in your skin, I wanna emphasize that I am not telling you guys that these foods are off limits and that you should completely cut them out of your diet. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to be giving you some tips and suggestions about how to overall reduce glycation of collagen in the skin through your diet that doesn't necessarily entail eliminating any specific food or food group. <laughs> Number one, donuts. Donuts can be problematic for the health of the collagen in your skin as well as throughout the rest of your body because they're very, very high in sugar, have almost no fiber. And so when you eat donuts, your blood sugar can spike quite a bit and it's that increase in blood sugar that can result in advanced glycation and product formation. And donuts are fried, frying, further contributes to the advanced glycation end product in the food that you would then ingest. Number two, white bread. White bread has almost no fiber and it's a refined carbohydrate. Can lead to quite an uptick in your blood sugar. Again, directly going to impact total advanced glycation end product formation. Processing and refinement of the grain strips away a lot of the micronutrients. So you're missing out on antioxidants, other potential beneficial vitamins, minerals that you would get from the whole grain. And you're also losing out on that fiber that would help modulate blood sugar and minimize spikes in blood sugar. All right, number three is barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce, specifically putting barbecue sauce on meat and cooking the meat in barbecue sauce at high heat is really amplifying the content of advanced glycation end products, not to mention barbecue sauce have a high amount of added sugar. And the added sugar plus the high heat cooking of the meats further increases the overall age content of the meat. Grilling, broiling, smoking meat increases its age content. Coating it in sugary barbecue sauce further increases the age content as well and also contributes to the total sugar content that's going to spike your blood sugar. I'm also including beverages, and number four is going to be any kind of mixed drink cocktail. These are a double hitter because alcohol on its own is not very good for the health of your skin. It's very inflammatory, it's dehydrating, it depletes the antioxidant reserve in your skin, making your skin more vulnerable to damage from environmental stressors, including damage to the collagen from things like ultraviolet radiation and pollution. And then you have in the cocktail a lot of sugars 
that are going to impact your blood sugar level and contribute further to glycation of that collagen in your skin. Studies show that um, moderate to excessive consumption of alcohol does lead to more prominent signs of photoaging. And depending on how you are consuming the alcohol, you can see there are potential extra mechanisms here in terms of the role of glycation in those more prominent wrinkles in heavier drinkers. Next is packaged chips, cookies, and crackers. These have a pretty substantial amount of advanced glycation end products at baseline because of the way they are prepared. And they have little to no fiber and oftentimes they have substantial added sugar. And while there is a trend in packaged foods away from trans fats and minimizing trans fats, many of these do still utilize things like margarine. Studies show that diets high in trans fats may impair your skin's ability to recover from UV exposure, another insult to the health of the collagen in your skin. Sugary sodas. I specify sugary because I'm not actually sure about diet soda in this case. The studies are mixed on artificial sweeteners and health. Some of them show, you know, no difference. Others, you know, suggest maybe they might potentially alter your gut microbiome, but a lot of that is in its infancy. But completely sugared sodas, we'll say. Sugary sodas, obviously going to spike your blood sugar, no fiber, no, real nutritive benefit in sugary sodas. Hot dogs, pepperoni, and bacon. These are some of the worst meats that you can consume for the health of your skin. They are incredibly high in advanced glycation end products. Not to mention, they are also often prepared in a way that further increases the age content within them. These are some of the greatest offenders in terms of contributing to glycation in the body. All right, so those are some of the most offensive foods for the health of the collagen in your skin. And diets consisting solely of these foods may not bode well for the health of your skin or your total body system. But does that mean you have to eliminate these things? No, I don't think that you do or that you should. Think about though how you consume these foods and these are some tips in which you can kind of, you know, make better choices around the consumption of these foods to minimize the harm to your health. First of all, it's hard to say this because everybody interprets it their own way, but everything in moderation. And if you are subsisting off of the foods on this list, that is not moderation. But having a donut here and there or, you know, a cocktail, I mean, hello, we're here to live, not just follow rules. This one is so important, especially here in the US, and that is portion sizes. I say especially here in the US because we have portion distortion. A donut here in the US is oftentimes the size of my head in many places, massive donuts. It's more like three donuts. So you have to be really mindful of portion sizes. A lot of people really don't have any concept of portion sizes. Another portion distortion that's really easy is alcohol because you may think you're only having one glass of wine, but remember one glass of wine is five ounces and one um, serving of a distilled spirit like what would be in a mixed drink is one and a half ounces. But a lot of people are very heavy handed with their pour. They have a couple of them. Be mindful of what you are making your mixed drink with. Uh, is it some sugary syrup that's going to further add to the, the sugar spike? Try splashing in some juice and soda water as a cocktail mixer. Lower the overall sugar content. Much better than, than Coke, Coca-Cola, a soda, full sugar soda. You know, this, this all comes down basically to eating a balanced diet that has foods from all food groups, adding fiber to your meal and healthy fats, avocado, monounsaturated fats can help to minimize the spike in blood sugar. Plus they help with satiety overall, reducing the chances that you will overeat on the sugary tasty thing. And also make sure that you incorporate fruits and vegetables into your diet. Yes, fruits have sugar and so do many vegetables, you know, have sugar, but they also have fiber. And fruits and vegetables are packed with antioxidants that are really beneficial to the integrity of your collagen and for reducing the burden of 
oxidative stress that comes from environmental exposures that damage your collagen. If you eat a hot dog on white bread and you put barbecue sauce on it, you have a Coke with it, and you eat chips with it, that is a setup for not being so good for your skin, especially if you eat that every day. Um, but if you maybe add in some a serving of broccoli and avocado on your hot dog, uh, it may in, in a whole grain bun instead of white bread, and then boiling your hot dog instead of grilling it or frying it can also help in just keeping the overall age content lower. Then your eating order can help as well, specifically front-loading protein earlier in your eating. That can help in controlling the blood sugar spikes as well, as opposed to waking up first thing in the morning and eating a sugary donut, especially if you aren't mindful of the portion size and you're technically eating three sugary donuts, that is a setup not only for a crash, but it's really hard on you from a met uh, metabolic standpoint as far as what it's requiring your body to handle and the downstream effects of that are going to be more uh, age formation, more glycation of collagen. So if you're gonna have a donut in the morning, maybe have some protein beforehand or along with it to kind of help minimize that sugar spike. I like to rag on the trend of taking shots of apple cider vinegar, but truthfully, consuming vinegar with a meal, so you don't have to you know, take shots of it, but consuming vinegar with a meal is another way to lessen the burden of advanced glycation um, end products that are formed in glycation. Incorporate spices into your cooking of these foods. Cinnamon, garlic, ginger, and cumin are all anti-glycation spices. They can actually help inhibit glycation and reduce formation of advanced glycation end products. So incorporate those into your cooking methodologies. An acid-based marinade, marinating your meat in either lemon juice or vinegar before cooking can ultimately reduce the total amount of ages reduce the formation of ages further in meat. Remember, meat already has ages, but the cooking methodology can further increase it. So marinating it in advance in either lemon juice or vinegar can help reduce that. And then the cooking methodology also can increase the content. So rather than broil, roast, um, fry, instead steam, boil, or poach, uh, or stew your meats, Try incorporating green tea or white tea into your diet as a beverage. Green tea and white tea both have anti-glycation effects, and so that can be another way to kind of help minimize the total burden of glycation that comes from the foods that you ingest. So to reiterate, these are some of the more common foods that uh, if consumed in excess, if they constitute the majority of your diet, can be problematic and contribute not only to skin aging, but to total body health problems as well, like atherosclerosis, renal disease. Like I said, you don't have to eliminate these foods. Hopefully some of these strategies that I gave you will help you understand ways to just minimize ages in your diet overall without taking extreme measures of trying to cut out any food group. What I also want to emphasize is that if you eat a balanced diet, you're going to have many beneficial things coming in that overall help buffer some of the blood sugar spikes and glycation overall and help to reduce total body glycation and inflammation that comes from the foods that we eat. But if you only subsist on processed sugary foods and you know high fat meats cooked at high temperature well that is a setup for poor health but adding these other things in a balanced diet can really help fruits and vegetables you get the antioxidants and beneficial micronutrients to help reduce inflammation you also want to make sure you have fiber and healthy fats to minimize blood sugar spikes that would otherwise you know, contribute to glycation of that collagen. All right, guys, in the description box, I'm gonna link some other videos that I've done on the role of diet and skin. I've got a video on the keto diet for skin. I'll link that down below. And on the next slide, it's gonna be a video all about the best foods for collagen. So make sure you check that out if you missed it. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.